Welcome to the GIMP end table texture tutorial. You can check out the YouTube video. And this is our um, flash player or reader. If you have any problems downloading anything and that pops up in Windows Explorer, just go to the to that bar and click it and you can download or you can go to the files that are in blue the download files there. Let's go to the um, um, preview real quick. Uh, the before and after. Just so you get an, an idea of what's what it's going to look like. Make sure you have the layer FX script download. This page will show you how. Download this picture and open it as the first um, layer. Uh, there's the wood base texture. I'll show you how to do that later. And the before and the after. And there's just four layers there that we're um, fooling around with. And there's the finished uh, end result. Uh, this is just an example of applying the texture uh, to a box, modeled box, and 3ds Max. You can also do it in GMAX as well. Okay, let's go into more detail. Uh, the end table door pick. After you download it, uh, just navigate to where you uh, unzip it and open it as your first layer. So I'll press cancel here or you have it. I'll show you how I did the wood base texture. Go to bucket fill, uh, pattern fill, and click the icon there and down at the bottom there's a, a few wood uh, textures. I'll pick that one and I wanted to make it darker so I went to colorize and uh, made it a bit darker. Okay now for the door panels I'll show you. Uh, make sure you have the grid on and the snap to grid and I'll just show you quickly. Uh, you turn on the background picture and you bas basically just make a, um, a selection. And you copy from the wood base texture. And then you go back up to door panels and you paste. And you do the same thing to the other side. Uh, here I'll just um, get that selection back and move, move it over and I'll paste. I'll copy from the wood base and go back to door panels and paste. And there you go. The knobs layer. This one is uh, fairly easy to do. Uh, we just, uh, I think there's about six Six, six little circles you have to uh, make. Uh, make sure you're on the grid. And the snap is on. And I'll speed up the video a bit here. And basically you're doing the same thing. You're, you're, you have to copy from the wood base texture. And back to knobs and you paste and you get that that part that side done now I'll show you quickly how to um, tra layer transform and you can flip things over and then redo the copy and paste to get the other side quickly and I'm doing this real quick so go to the uh, reader if you're um, having a hard time uh, keeping pace here. Okay for the door pattern uh, layer which is a bit more uh, complicated uh, we'll zoom into the um, patterns here go to the paths tool and just make a rough outline and 
go to edit and pull out the handles. There's two for each point and you get you get these nice uh, curves. Go to selection from path and fill it in with a color. Make sure you're on the door pattern layer. It's empty right now. I'll fill it black. So, and we have to do the bottom. This one is, is easier. There's just one point here that you have to uh, pull a handle on and curve. And we'll fill that select selection from path. And okay, so we've got the top and the bottom. Zoom out here. Okay, now we have to just uh, just like the knobs layer transform layer transform flip and then fill in the uh, selections and I'm going to stop the video here I clicked the I used the um, uh, fuzzy select tool to select the uh, empty background and it's just copy and paste from the wood base texture again and then hold down control control on the keyboard and group select those four black patterns we don't need them anymore and there we have the uh, door pattern okay now for the final layer uh, the handles layer We'll zoom into the handle here. And the same thing with the paths tool. And this is really fast. Make sure if you're not following, make sure you go to the reader on on the website. And uh, I'm actually not doing this as well as a could be, but you can see uh, pulling out the handles and making the curves. And same thing, selection from path. Uh, let's select the um, gold color for your foreground color and paste it and turn off the picture and you see it's pasted in okay and I created a copy of the handles layer and I'm gonna rotate that copy and then move it to mirror the uh, top half and then we can just uh, merge uh, the handles copy layer down with the handles layer. I'm going to right click and merge down. Now we just got to make a copy of this and we can do this without um, making an extra layer uh, just use the uh, fuzzy wand to uh, make the two selections there. Uh, no, don't flip it yet. Copy and paste. And then there will be a square selection over it. Now when you go to flip, there is another copy. And just go to the move tool and you can move it to the right side and that's it
Okay, I'll go back to the original uh, uh, file and I'll bevel the door panels. It gives a bit of a 3D look and uh, drop shadow. And you can adjust the drop shadow. Uh, inner glow. And we have a problem here. We have to um, erase some of the inner glow. So keep it on the inner glow layer. And it's covering up some of the shadows. So go to hard edge eraser. Eraser hard edge. And uh, get scale the brush size up just enough. And you see how it was covering the uh, shadows. Now it looks more realistic. Okay, turn off the wood base texture so we have just the door panel layers. And we'll just right click and merge visible layers. and they're merged into one. Turn the wood base texture on and you get to see uh, the final result there. Now for the knobs layer we'll use a uh, pillow emboss here. I'll show you a bevel and emboss uh, style pillow, pillow emboss and that's the effect you get. I'm going, re going real quickly here so Make sure you check the reader on my website. And with the door pattern layer, we'll do the same thing as the um, doors. We'll apply a bevel and then a drop shadow. And here we're going to have to edit or, uh, yeah, delete some of the drop shadows that are um, conflicting with the uh, highlights. And then next we'll go to inner glow. Make sure it's on the door pattern layer. And of course uh, it's all covering up the uh, shadow area so we have to use the eraser again. and turn the opacity down just a bit. Okay, turn off the wood base texture and we can right click and we can mer merge the visible uh, door pattern layers so it's all into one. Okay, we'll, we'll add a layer mask to show just the uh, patterns because it's uh, the door pattern layer is really covering up everything. Uh, pick a white foreground color. Uh, make sure the the mask is highlighted there. Turn on everything else and just let those patterns show through the mask. Okay, now to bevel and emboss the uh, door handles. Uh, inner bevel. Uh, don't merge with the layer. And in the highlights we'll boost up, up to make it uh, then merge it down. And just, just add a uh, drop shadow. Offset distance 15. Don't merge with layer. So you can uh, adjust the opacity. You can merge the handle layer with the drop shadow layer. Right click, merge down. And uh, I'll just zoom out here and, and that's it.